What the hell are we doing, Rick? Hey, you got your boy Rick Casting here. We got Frankie Unit. Just gonna hit you right off the bat. We're headed to Dallas, Texas, to pick up my new machine. Pretty excited. We're uh, we're gonna save you the drama though, and we're just gonna snap to being in Dallas. So it's gonna be a long haul, but uh, it'll be pretty cool when we get there. All right, ready? Hopefully Leo can put in some new sound effects for this. Ready? Loser. Boom! <laughs> I bet you guys thought we were driving. Wrong answer, we flew into Dallas. Our friend Brandon's picking us up. He's gonna go take us to get our vessel that we're hauling the new machine home with. This is next level stuff. You guys are you guys are gonna be impressed when you see this setup. I've wondered. There's Mr. Brandon right there. You guys might know Brandon. If you're on Facebook on any of the X3 pages, chances are you've seen this guy's bad grammar and his <laughs> talking about everyone else that races X3. Great guy. Well, I'm pretty clear. Like, the car. Oh, hell yeah. Texas is crazy, man. Just dragging freaking bags down the road. They don't even know the difference, do they? Nice. Clear. Yeah, we're in the vessel that's going to be used to pick up our new machine. Comment below right now what you think it is. Uh, it's something we've never done before. I'll just leave it at that. It's pretty funny, I think. Should work, though. Theoretically, it's... Kind of different. It'll get the job done for sure. It'll get the job done. You might have that? to make a Hear short that? trip. Yeah, it'll get the job done. Whoa. Might have to make a short trip to Home Depot. Yeah, the strapping options aren't the best, but we're going to use our brain power and figure something out. Or not. We'll see. And we're only a couple minutes away from the dealership. And we'll be getting this new unit. I'm so excited to see it. I'm pumped. Came all the way to Texas to get this thing because guess what? You can't get these things anywhere. Yeah, Pro R's are hard to find. Yeah, Pro R's are very hard to find, guys. It's pretty crazy. Or is it that new Double X? Yeah, I totally got another Wildcat. All right, guys, we just signed the paperwork on this new unit. Very excited about this thing. Take a look at it. Mm, bam! Oh, yeah. Triple black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> black everything for me. So, you guys might have heard in a couple of videos in the past, I was getting a new X3. I've been waiting on this one for about well, three months now. There's been a pretty big component shortage, electrical component shortage. And we were waiting on the dash and ECU to show up and they finally got it in. And uh, pretty much the only one in the country that I could find. Our friend Brandon was uh, looking pretty hard for us. He did a great job locating this one. And uh, yeah, I had to come to Texas to get it. But yeah, this was 2022. Maverick X3, XRS, uh, has the smart shocks on it. Pretty much like Leo's machine, except it's a 2022, his is a 21. So differences, this one comes with uh, 32s on it from the factory. Those will be going away pretty soon for some other 32s. Terra hooks, baby. Uh, this one's 200 horsepower, where his is a 195. And the big deal on this yeah. one is the can't different, notice it now, but yeah, you can't see it, but it's got a different primary clutch called the P clutch. Uh, BRP has been using it on snowmobiles for years. It's supposed to be pretty sweet. It's a three arm clutch compared to the six arm that the previous models used to have. They changed some stuff back here. Uh, they reinforce the radius rod area on the frame. And uh, if you zoom in over there on the tow link, you can see it's now double shear compared to the single shear that all the previous X3s have. So 
super excited to get this thing. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. This one isn't going to turn into what the ghoul is, so uh, it's going to be a good trail machine. What are you going to do with the ghoul, by the way? All right, yeah, here's the deal, guys. I wasn't going to tell you this, but I'm going to tell you this right now. Ghoul's for sale. What? Ghoul's for sale. If you guys want to buy the ghoul, hit us up. Sidebysideblog.com and gmail.com. 50 grand, that's the price. Whoa. Take a look at this picture right here of it. It's all cleaned up. Looks really good. Let us know. You guys should buy it. You'd love that machine. Mm -hmm. Great unit. Um, also, one other thing we're going to be surprising the guys. Uh, they got these China motorcycles here. Um, yeah, we just need to buy a China motorcycle. So I'm not telling them about anything about it. Uh, it's going to be pretty funny, though. I think they're going to like it. It's a really nice piece. Like The frame isn't completely welded on it where it should be. <laughs> they have two of them. The other one had leaking front shock. So, I mean... I think it's easier to just weld in the frame than a pair of the shocks. Maybe, I don't know. But we're getting a China bike. You'll see that in a little bit. I would just go right over there. Cool, baby. A few moments later. Get you some of that. picked it up just had to do that what do you want me to do it smells like rubber yeah it's got some juice now how are we gonna get this thing home we're driving it yeah uh here's the deal guys I haven't shown you the vessel that's carrying this machine now we're gonna take a look at this hog <laughs> Shabam. penske truck baby 16 foot penske truck box steel right this is a Ford chassis. I don't know what engine's in it. We should probably determine that. I've had great luck with these E-Series vehicles in the past. I've done some burnouts with them. Already tried in this. It didn't do it. Haven't determined what engine this one has. Oh, Hopefully it's that new 7.3. Yeah, oh, I bet Frankie, it is. Frankie says it's got a Trimiton in it. <laughs> Loves those. Trimiton. Oh, I got the hood up. 7.3, baby, look at that. Big block. Are you serious? See you on the big end. This thing knows what's up. Oh, uh, I don't think so. So we need to get some ramps from inside here somewhere. We're gonna load that X3 up. And uh, then we gotta go buy the China bike. Was it? Kyo? K Is that the brand? Kyo or something, I don't even yeah. know. Frankie fell in love with it. He's, put this on video. Okay? <laughs> Frankie said he's hitting every jump at the shop track with it. So that was a big selling point for me. Not sure it's gonna be a, a big selling point for everyone else at the shop, but I like it. We're here, there's a good deal, kind of, not really, but we're getting a bike to come back. Oh yeah, could have a party in here. I mean, that thing's gonna fit as snug as a bug in Right, there. and then our little care package will fit right along the back. Yep. Tear up your whole rear end when you're... Uh... Yeah, probably, really looking forward to that. Nah. All right, we got everyone, all hands on deck here. Getting these ramps. Did he get her? I'm envisioning this uh, ending up like all those fail videos you see where the ramps <laughs> shoot out and then the car is just like falling off the back. Yeah, definitely keep it in two wheel drive. Gotta go get that China bike now. Maybe let's go take a look at that. And uh, yeah, we can get on out of here. We're trying to uh, try to wait till like four o'clock because Brandon says that there's like world's best steakhouse around here somewhere in Dallas. Look at that guy. Steakhouse. Champion right there. Found this machine for us. And we got one other pit stop to make. Oh yeah. So we'll wait till we get the bike loaded up to let you know about the, uh, the other pit stop that we got. You guys are really gonna like that one. I'm talking a lot of like. I'm gonna love it. Yeah, you're gonna, you're really gonna. Like it. <laughs> All right, so somewhere in the oh there he is. Somewhere in the distance is a Frankie unit on a motorcycle. Yeah, how's this thing burn so far? Good. Hey, you can't have all the fun. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah. It does exactly what we wanted it to. Yeah, perfect. All right, let's load this thing up. <laughs> yeah, we're wow. So what are we gonna do? Just strap this to the wall or something? I don't know. Are we gonna pull it up to my machine? We should just pull it up to it. Just strap a little normal dirt bike up against it because you can kind of use your little plate there. Yeah. See how that works out. All right, the Kyo strapped. The X3 strapped. Their luggage is in there. Time to get in the truck and uh, yeah, talk about some other stuff we're gonna do oh, once no. we get in there. All right guys, so this is obviously an expensive trip. So we bought the X3, we bought the KO bike. Didn't anticipate on doing that. Um, we're not done yet. We're not done yet, no. We really need to maximize the value of this trip. So if you guys remember the last Glamis video, you know, Frankie and I sent Project 168, super huge. Right. Big time. And uh, you know, Frankie's kind of fallen in love with 168. You know, I heard him talking with Nick Seuss about maybe buying the machine, but uh, there was some some conditions. <laughs> Nick, Seuss, Nick Seuss said part of the terms and conditions was Frankie had to get a neck tattoo that said 168. So we're thinking of putting it over here where the firework hit me in the neck. Oh, okay. I mean, there's already a pretty good welt there, so we can just kind of blemish it in. And yeah, so we're at... Maybe the wife won't notice. Ooh, I don't know about that. We're at, uh, <laughs> what is this place called? Threading, perfect. Threading uh, Perfect One Brow Art. Frankie did a lot of research last night and determined that this is a this is a place that'll get him what he needs, so... A little longer than a few minutes later. What do you think, guys? Uh, okay, so... <laughs> the lighting is really bad. Feel sorry about that. But <laughs> there it is. The 168 tattoo. Mission accomplished. Hopefully this gets me one step closer to what I need. Now I just need some money. Where are we going to get that? Uh, hey guys, anybody want to buy Clapped Out? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now we're on to the most important part. Like I said, we got to go buy some, or we got to go to a steakhouse. So, going to Saltgrass. Maybe we'll do a review after the meal's done. Maybe not. We'll see. We're going to eat a lot though. Like, I'm talking yeah. a lot. Hungry. We didn't eat all day. Oh my gosh. All right, salt grass, what'd you think? Way too much food. Yeah, well, everywhere we go is way too much food. Know, but, but the onion rings, like... Where are we going now? Uh, I'm gonna go get me a 10 gallon hat. Yeah. Been in Texas only one other time. I wanted to get a cowboy hat or some sort of hat from Texas. Didn't do it, now's the time. Driver, you said we're going to a freaking uh, cowboy store, not a cowboy village. <laughs> like. This thing place is huge. Yeah, giant, giant cavenders. I don't know what's inside. I saw some pictures. They had stacks of hats. They got boots. Uh, they got to have other good stuff. So look at this place. We're gonna find some VIP parking for this unit. Yeah. Let's oh, see. they're now hiring. Oh yeah, perfect. Get a job to pay for some of this trip. All right. <laughs> that was a good trip. Yeah. That was a great trip. This hat. I feel like I don't want to leave this state right now, but kind of have to. So. It's time to hit the road. I don't know where we're gonna end up. I've got at least six hours of drive time in tonight, I feel. Right. Get a good night's sleep. Anyway, he's not the only one that's so lucky enough to get a nice new cowboy hat. Got me a new shirt. Good for you. <laughs> Did all right. We peace out? Huh? Are you done buying me things? No, probably not. <laughs> On this two-lane back road from all this construction we come by here what is this called Ch Choctaw Choctaw yeah I, I mean this 
<laughs> this is a big dog casino. Yeah, and it's a casino, a resort, hotel. Look at this know. place. I mean, it's everything. Uh, no big truck parking. Is that a moving van? Somebody. No, we're clean there. Somebody that is watching this video has to know where we're at. <laughs> For sure. Probably. Yeah, let's go inside and see, uh, you know, maybe there's some machines that give money and also take money. Nick Seuss, if you're watching this, you know all about those. Let's see what we can find. We're ahead of schedule. We're doing really good. Like, I was envisioning yes, not getting look, on the road until 6 so p.m. On 70 miles that we drove, we're averaging 12 miles a gallon. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. 7.3. Gas. Who'd have thunk it? All right, let's see, let's see what we can find in here. One eternity later. Well, yeah, update, uh, we just left the casino. We got took, you know, it's uh, <laughs> not gonna disclose the amount of money because it doesn't really matter, didn't win. Cool experience, really big place. Still would recommend coming here and at least walking around. That was a great time. Uh, moving on from that, I'm gonna forget about that experience though. And we're gonna get back on the road and Try and make it to, I don't know where. I don't really want to drive super far tonight. I'm getting pretty tired, got some stuff to do on the computer. All right, let's hit the road. Taco Bell, what a beautiful sight. Too bad you wouldn't let me get any. You can go right now if you want. Go grab a $2 burrito, it's telling you to do it. Maybe wow. sure. All right, too late. So we're hitting the road, we're just leaving the hotel, had a great night's sleep. I haven't felt this good in at least two days. And our first stop of the day, place that I've been told for a while that we need to go. Brahms, I think that's how you pronounce it. Burgers and ice cream. It's an hour and 45 minutes away. Our friend Mike Reed from Oklahoma, he's got the Batman X3, he's been telling me about this place for two years now. Never went. And today's the day we go. We're gonna grab some burgers. I saw uh, one of the other locations had a sign out front that said bag of burgers $5.95. So I'm really looking forward to that. Look at that. I've never been in a vehicle with so many so excited before about oh, burgers. Just missed, you just missed it. Oh, shit. Look at that sign though. Bag of burgers $5.95. That's how you know it's good. Oh, oh, oh. Bag of Bergs. That was a great meal. I would definitely recommend coming to Brahms if you guys haven't been there. Or even if you have been there, you should go back. We both got quarter pound Bergs with chocolate shakes, fries, great meal. Then also said this, yeah, we got a long trip ahead of us. We should grab the bag of Bergs, which is five Bergs for $5.95. Now, if you look in here, you'll only find four because I already had one. Yeah. Sorry, just had to. But two each going forward, you know, it's pretty fair if you ask me. Anyways, we're going to the gas station. We're going to fill up and then, uh, yeah, just run this whole tank out. I don't know where we're going to end up. Hi, Rick. We're going quite a few miles. That's, uh, at the load. Oh man, but that thing looks so fresh. I thought the drive was going to be pretty miserable. That's pretty good. We had a lot of wind today, which was scary at points, but you know, we're here, we're fueling up. Gonna go to the bathroom in there, new gas station. Hopefully, it's good, but it's also a Taco Bell, so that's a bit concerning. It's Thursday morning, just rolling up to the shop. I'm gonna be meeting Frankie uh, somewhere behind here. All right, guys, so <laughs> we're gonna be rolling into the shop. Frankie and I formulated a plan, and you guys are just gonna have to wait and see how it unfolds. I think the, the guys are gonna be kind of surprised. I hope they at least laugh. I mean, that's, that's the end goal, this is for them to laugh, so. Oh, oh my God! Who is this? Who is this, dude? Matthew, yeah. Uncle Richard's home, dude. 
Oh my gosh. He actually did it. What, <laughs> what is he wearing? <laughs> who, who is this man, dude? <laughs> He looks like Waylon Jennings, kind of. I love it. Hey, what are you boys up to? <laughs> <laughs> who the hell are you? Hey, and Texas, Rico? Texas is a great place. Uh, I don't know who I am. I'm, I think I'm some combination of Rick and Tex. So we're going with Rex, dude. <laughs> but yeah, what do you think about this unit? This thing's pretty sweet. I'll tell you. Got the aerodynamic edges on it up there as well. Penske, good unit, dude. One way. That's where you took it from, huh? Yeah, it was a it was a great trip. Uh, Frankie and I had a really fun time. You guys will learn about that later. He unfortunately couldn't be here right now, but there's a beautiful bounty in the, the back, dude. The contents of this machine here, you guys are gonna like. Now let's head back here. I just want to tell you guys something, all right? You guys know I love you, right? I wish that you guys could have come on this trip with me. Well, there's only two seats. Only two seats. So. I made the executive decision to bring you guys back a little treat. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, what? <laughs> I thought Frankie wasn't here. <laughs> oh no! Oh my gosh! <laughs> what is the, what's the sound of this? <laughs> T125, dude, straight off the boat from China. <laughs> what in the hell happened oh. here? <laughs> I can't, oh. like, I've never seen anything better than that reveal. That was so good. You see him Frankie on this bike, in those sunglasses, oh. in that hat. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best thing I've ever seen. Oh, you guys, let the bike roll. The bike is tight. <laughs> Now, okay, listen, I'm just gonna keep rolling with this stuff. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is more stuff happening. Uh, yeah, this is this is a big deal. Now, I don't know if you guys or the audience remembers when we were out in Glamis. <laughs> there was some business that was discussed. Me big and business. Frankie Unit, big business, okay? You remember anything about that? I heard a lot of stuff in Glamis. No, yeah, you specifically said certain words. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Frankie okay. Unit and I, you know, we went, your neck. Went, Is there a 168 went, went big, <laughs> went big <laughs> with your Turbo S Project 168. Frankie fell in love. <laughs> <laughs> and he wants the machine. And yeah. you told him the criteria. Yeah. What? <laughs> Kind of cool in there. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we all got one of those, dude. <laughs> no problem. Oh wow! Wow! You guys are wow. Is that real money? Man. Let's look at that quick. Let's just see that. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's real money. Oh, oh, real money. Boy. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm screwing with it. Right there. <laughs> uh, wow, dude. We're, we're a deal. It's done. How much is in there first? Four thousand in tens, dude. I should have this before I just shook up. Gun deal, shit. Wow, you guys are crazy. You guys are local, man. You guys are wild. Uh, what? Oh, what do we got here? Yeah, Let's just take uh, a look. Um, I'd kind of forgotten about that. I was most excited about what we already talked about. That makes sense. That makes sense. Oh boy, that seems icy to me. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's just an X3. Yeah, you know the deal. I already told the people about it a little bit, but 2022 oh. X3 XRS with the smart shocks, pretty much your machine, nice. except with uh, P-Clatch. P-Clatch. So, 
Yeah, yeah. Broke it in on the dealership parking lot. You'll have already seen that. I did a couple donies. Is that the smell that I'm smelling? Is the rubber? Uh, it's probably the fact that that was lost. running at about an 8.6 to 1 AFR for oh. the last 10 minutes. But. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to get this out. Probably use the wedge ramps or something. We just use like motorcycle ramps to drive it in here. Yeah, it's we'll figure easy. it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. I Frank think and I had a great trip, man. It was a lot of fun. Good man, I'm excited to see the footage. I'm at this weird point where I don't know what happened. So yeah, no, it's, I'm jacked. It's, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be enjoyable. <laughs> I think you'll like it. <laughs> well, let's get this thing out and Make put it in the garage. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm holding my foot on this one. All right, you're on the ramps, buddy. Oh, perfect. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah. <laughs> Cowboy Rick, dude. So what do you think, buddy? It's been a great couple days. I've been excited to get this thing out of the out of the truck. It's been, yeah. It's been a long time since I had a fresh machine. 2019, brother. Me and you. Three years ago. That's yeah. Hard to believe it's gone by that fast. So, yeah, I've uh, really been looking forward to this day for like three months. It's been since we put the deposit on this thing, and we've been waiting for those parts to come in. The, gauge cluster and the ECU and the key, I think. Okay. It's here now, so. Perfect. Kind of went over some of the changes with it in the back end, the P-clutch. Most importantly, no more ghoul on the trails, dude. Nope, that's uh, ghoul's a great machine, but for what uh, we really want to do this year, just go out and ride and have a good time. The ghoul's just transitioned to be a bit more of a dune and drag machine, and I, uh, I want to get back to something that's just really good at everything. Doesn't need to have 400 horsepower to have fun. We've already got a couple things on hand for this. A couple other things are going to show up, but it's going to be really fun when we're done with it. Yeah. yeah great trail machine. Great so, everything machine. Good solid ripper. I'm really looking forward to seeing how these changes on the 22 models come together. Like that P clutch. Not mind blowing things, but I think they're really good things that are going to make a big difference. So it should be a sweet car. Yep. 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 Well, man. What else is there to say other than Frankie's? <laughs> Did you get, buy a new helmet too? Blarb and Bliber. <laughs> you got a Blarb and Bliber helmet? Is that real Blarb and Bliber? Yeah, Blarb and Bliber. Nick, this is the one you wanted, buddy. Yeah. Remember the fly? It's like your old, old Lord's craft one. <clears throat> that flew out of the truck and anyway. Still up here's there. still well, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh. Well, welcome back, boys. Yeah. yeah. You did a good job. Good glad to have you guys here. back. I'm, I'm glad we're doing this. And hey, you know what they say, more to come on new machine stuff. This is just the beginning. 2022, big year new machines. Big year. Big year, yeah. We're almost all at the point where we've got fresh machines and uh, put, us, put us in a really good position to do some really good, really hard riding with hopefully minimal drama. We might need to bring the no drama llama around just to ensure that, but. I think there's a spot think, in your seat for it. I think we'll be okay. Well, well. He's listening. What is he doing? Oh yeah, he's right there. <laughs> Staring at you, dude. <laughs> no drama. There ain't no drama for that llama. Hey, that's a good point. Well, Frankie, why don't you send him an outro, dude? Oh man. <laughs> Put you on the spot. Look at that hair. Put me on the spot. You don't gotta say what Doug says. Say what you wanna say, dude. Hey, yeah, uh, thanks for allowing me to do uh, join you guys in the journey that you're on so far here. And uh, like that, we had a ride on our trip, so hopefully you guys like what you're seeing and we'll uh, keep it coming for you. Beautiful, Nailed beautiful. It. Congrats, Rick. Good job, buddy. Thank you guys, really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. See you on the big end. See ya.